Hi, I'm Ryan, and today we're gonna do a full walk around of the Scout Olympic. So make sure you leave a comment below to say subscribe so I can send you a message back. Um, and if you like these videos, it'll, it'll keep you in touch and get you more of them. But also, or but let's move on this thing here. So um, Scout Olympic, this is gonna fit on your five and a half foot beds and longer. So it's gonna be your F-150s, your Dodge 1500s, your Tundras, trucks like that. It can go on your three quarter tons, one tons, but the bed needs to be five and a half foot beds or, or five and a half feet or longer. Um, it has 46 inches of cab clearance. So if you have a one ton, you might wanna put a little platform underneath. You wanna have at least um, one inch, probably one and a half inches between the roof of your truck and the actual camper. Um, this is an Olympic on the Kenai. It has 46 inches of cab clearance. So uh, you don't, wouldn't need that with a, with a Kenai. Um, one thing unique to Olympic and Kenai is these camper jacks that we now have a dually bracket. So this will work naturally and they go in two settings. This is extended. It can go in as well, but we also have a dually bracket that goes out to about 100 inches. So that's a new thing on 2024s. Uh, you can also see here that this one, I haven't shown this one before, I don't think, but the awning bracket alone. So there's no awning on this camper. If you order the awning bracket as an option, it comes installed above the dinette window. And so if you want to install a bat wing awning like we used to use on the Scouts, it goes around the back wall, bat wing. Um, this would be the bracket you would order with the camper. So if you order our cross wing awning, your awning would be installed right here. Obviously when it's on the truck, it's nice and easy to use. This one's higher up, so you need a ladder to get to when it's on the truck, but both are awesome options. Um, all the Scouts come in or have the 10 pound propane tank. They come with one 10 pound tank and there's a quick connect here for bringing your cooktop outside or uh, plugging in propane to the tank outside on the exterior. A big upgrade to these in the last couple of years has also been these latches. So it's going to click in nicely and snap into place, which is really nice. Um, the propane compartment is always vented and not lockable. That is a code. Um, that's not our choice necessarily. You could change it yourself, but propane shouldn't be locked um, on our end of manufacturing. Um, this guy here has the bed rail runner option. So this is going to fill the gap between the box of your truck and the camper. So if there's a space here, this fills it. So, so it improves the aesthetics, looks really nice and cool. But you can also install some gear to it. You got max tracks, you got a diesel roto pack, you got a shovel, you got an ax, whatever you want to put. You can strap it to these uh, Mac or to this bed rail runner option. So that's kind of what it's for. Uh, all the, or the Kenai and Olympic have a large storage compartment on the passenger side of the camper. Um, you can see it here, I just closed it, but again, really nice latches, click into place. This compartment has a lock on it with a key so you can lock it. Um, people like to know their gear secure, so that's great that this one has a lock. It will on the Kenai as well. The windows in this thing, the acrylic windows here, um, they snap out in different settings, different, different levels if you want to know for different amounts of air, but they also all come with a, a, a solar shade and a bug screen, so you gotta keep the bugs out. Got some mosquitoes, I don't think mosquitoes, so um, these windows work awesome for airflow. Uh, this one here, we'll see from inside, again, doesn't have the nose windows, but with the skylight and these dinette windows, you get lots of airflow, which is really nice. And then on the back of the camper, let's just give you a quick rundown on this diesel heater. So this diesel heater is an option on the Scouts. It comes in a custom Zargus box, um, auto term 2D air heater, 2.75 gallon diesel tank on this thing, strapped in nicely all stored away in this uh, custom diesel box, um, or Zargus box, I should say. Diesel heater again, uh, works really well, dry heat, comes with a thermostat, works well in altitudes. Uh, it's an awesome heater, so it keeps you nice and warm. I've used my own camper in the winter and uh, this thing does a great job of keeping you warm. Um, a new option on the 2024s is this um, porch light that's hardwired, so it has a switch inside, so it's, it's nice and bright. I'll turn it on quick just so you get an idea. Switch is right here above the door. So that light's nice and bright. The old one needs to be solar. So I kind of like this upgrade. I'm okay with the solar one too, but both are nice options. Um, all the Scouts now have this snap on screen. So it snaps on. So you can see who's at your door, give them a wave, or just get up and see the lake from your window without opening the door if it's cold outside. Get a view, close it back up. It's just a nice snap cover. Um, nice and easy to use and clean. Then we have the Rotopack option for water. So this is gonna hold two gallons of extra water storage. Uh, you could also switch it to a, a diesel storage tank if you wanted to. So just go to Rotopax and get the yellow diesel storage tank. So you can switch out the water to diesel. And then above that, we have the bracket that secures the Lifesaver jerry can. So the Lifesaver jerry can is the blue jug that you can get water from pretty much anywhere with it. 
Um, you can get water from creeks, lakes, wherever. Uh, it has a really good filter in it. When you store the Lifesaver jerry can, you want to make sure that filter stays wet so it doesn't dry out. It's expensive, really awesome filter. So make sure you take care of it. But again, door stop, gear holder. Uh, if you do have the bat wing awning, that's the holder for it. Um, works really well. Again, here you got your sink drain. So if you have water, just open your sink, you'd pop this off. You can use a garden hose or other attachments, bring your own gray tank, and then drain the water there instead of going on the ground. Underneath all of the scouts, this might be a tricky one to see. Um, we haven't installed the jacks or the tie downs, I should say the tie downs, sorry, and this one that should bolt in right here, but uh, you should be able to see here that we have the solar SAE input. So if you have a portable solar panel or a briefcase panel, that's where it's gonna go. And also you have your seven way plug right here, which joins the truck power to the camper power. Um, and so they come set up, the goal zero is wired to that seven way. So once you turn your truck and your headlights on, your goal zero is gonna be charging. So that's, that's pretty slick. Um, you can order the roof rack option alone and you can use the you know, 80, 20 fasteners or different gear to fasten items to the, to the roof rack option. But uh, this has the GFC tangerine tent. Although they, the scouts look really good with the gray tent on them, the orange is just so cool. Like when you go inside, it's bright. Um, the roof is actually white on it, so it's kind of transparent. You get some natural light coming in through the, the roof of the tent. It's super easy to use it and put it up and down. Uh, there's a bunch of videos on that, but let's go inside this uh, Olympic here. We'll check out the inside and maybe I'll jump in that tent for you to show you how nice it is, but maybe not, we'll see. So. This Olympic here, again, um, no nose windows here. So if you don't get the nose windows, you're gonna get this nice mesh net for some socks and other gear. Uh, all the scouts come with the LED lights that are dimmable. So you just push the button, dims them down. So if you don't want them full blast, you don't have to have them that way. Just push it and adjust it as you like. East, west sleeping in this one, you can add the portal edge option that comes out for north, south sleeping. And you come down the middle and don't have to wake up your partner when you're sleeping. Um, also, the dinette is a sitting across from each other, so I'll jump in this one quick. Um, so me and my kid could sit here, me and my wife. Uh, I could work here like a little office, set up my camera equipment, do all that. But also, this one makes down into a bed. So I'll just show you that quick. It's going to pop down here. Pops down. And then your cushions just slide into place here. And now you have a nice bed for you know one or two kids uh, right there. Um, usually you'd have a cooler here. We use a Dometic cooler, but you can go with a National Luna, um, Yeti cooler, different coolers, uh, spot for your portable toilet. You could put you know other things underneath your sink, you know your knives and forks. There's lots of storage under here for um, things like that. You get a simple cubby from IKEA or something, little compartment of store stuff. All the scouts have the sink cover. Um, and stainless steel sink, which is really nice for washing your cups and dishes, um, things like that. And they all come with a 12 volt fan, um, except the tuck tut obviously, but Yoho Olympic and Kenai do. And then this is a lifesaver jerry can center in the larger models as well. We talked about side, but it comes with the wand for your dishes, for your drinking water, um, allows you to get water from pretty much anywhere. You could also use your roto pack to fill it. So instead of carrying this big one, that's about 4.9 gallons, grab your two gallon tank, fill it up and then you don't have to carry so much weight. Um, all the safety features are in this camp where you can see on the roof, we got our detector down on the floor. We have another detector down there. So, um, and a fire extinguisher. So we got CO2, smoke, everything in here. Um, I'm not sure if Kent can come in here for a sec, but I just want to show you guys again, just how easy this diesel heater is to use. And I want to just point something out as I sit here and look. One thing that you're going to want to always be careful of when you start this diesel heater up is that you don't store things in front of this ex heater exchange. So this is especially in the, or the air exchange, in the D, in the Kenai, that's right in your storage compartment. So you don't wanna put your bags right up against it because it will cause it to shut down. It won't fire up properly. So make sure this return vent is not covered. Cool thing here is the uh, vent cover is now adjustable. So you can kind of aim the, the air at the floor, at the roof, just kind of turn it and adjust it. But back to what we are gonna do is, this thing just got turned on, hasn't been touched. It always starts with the clock. Um, it's not 138, but we don't need to play with that today. Hit the home button, uh, go to your settings, 
And the first thing I always do is put the heating mode to the exterior sensor, external sensor, sorry, which is the one right here in the, in the Olympic and the key knife up above it. But that's going to be your accurate temperature. And then you also have your uh, system settings where you want to probably put it in Fahrenheit if you're from the States. And then you have your display settings. Oh, we don't want that one. We want the... Uh, We want to make sure it's an unlimited. So that's the third thing I always make want to do. So change it to, to Fahrenheit. Uh, make sure it's on external sensor and change the heating operation to unlimited. And then once you do that, you take it back home. You can see that it just switched over to Fahrenheit. And you can drag your finger here along here. Let's make it 81 Fahrenheit in here. It looks like a snowflake. Once you touch it, it looks like a coffee cup. And you know within 5-10 minutes, this camper is going to be nice and warm for you. You can hear it firing already. We'll turn that off because we don't have diesel in the tank. But this thing's slick. Once you use it once, uh, super easy to use. Um, I will, uh, yeah, I'm going to jump up in this tent here. So, Kent, you want to show how easy this is to get into this tent? Maybe I'll take my shoes off quick. Kind of a last minute thought, but. So, we have the, the hatch over here. So, I just move that out of the way. And then, Kent, if you want to go outside, I'll uh, come out the other door here. But, tons of space up here. Uh, super nice tents, high-end zippers on them, um, really easy to use. So it took me a second to get there, but I'm here. So, you know, wake up in the morning, sit up here, you get awesome view of the mountains of the lake. A um, couple of kids can sleep up here, a couple of adults, but uh, I'm not going to open all the compartments right now, but you get the idea. Um, all the, on the Olympic, you're going to have your ladder support at the rear here, so you open it from the back of the camper, nice and easy to get to, nice and safe to use. Um, and then on the side, you also have ladder, or ladder secure spots so you can come up from the side. Um, but I won't show you the ladder right now just because for the tent going up and down because we've done a bunch of videos on that. But again, this is your Scout Olympic. This thing's awesome. Um, thank you for watching, and we'll get you more videos soon. Oh, man.